You've been I duty fine. <laughs> All right, you ready for small appliance news here on the MJ? Small appliances, big news. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, small appliance news, brand new feature. It's small appliance news corner here on the MJ Morning Show. All right, those vacuum robots. Now, I never really thought of this. You know, I was I was just doing you know show prep, and I stumbled across this story about vacuum robots. And, like, the biggest name is probably, what, the Roomba, right? Ooh, the Roomba. I have a Roomba. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. Coop. Ladies well, and gen I, I, I just recently got a Roomba. It's the 2009 model. What? So I'm, uh, yeah. You're, so, you're uh, 12 years late? I think you have to plug that model in. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an extension cord. Yeah. It's got a 75-foot oh, extension cord. Wait a minute. Model. You have a 2009 Roomba? Yes, my roommate went to go rummage through his like family friends. I don't know. She went to go live into a move into a nurse nursing home. Right. So he pulled up a box and it was a fresh 2009 Roomba that was never used. Wow. I want my it... Roomba back. I'm <laughs> guessing the technology has probably gotten a little better with the Roomba since 2009. A little bit, but I'm still intrigued about yeah. whatever you're going to talk about. Like the technology I'm about to talk about. So, and I never even thought of this. Roombas are great for pet hair. That's the, that's the best well, thing. Well, oh, yeah. you're on the right track about pets. Okay. I never even thought about this. How do Roombas avoid a pile of pet poop in your house? Ooh. The Roomba now is being trained via artificial intelligence to not drive through dog poop. How about your... you don't have dog poop in your house? Well, or does it have smelling sensors? No. The... Well, sometimes you can't help the dog pooping. In the lab, robots are engineered Ew. to do all kinds of interesting things. Uh, uh, Boston Dynamics, uh, I guess uh, they're working on all kinds of technology here, but... You know, you take this Boston Dynamics. Is that the, the parent company, I guess, of, of Roomba? The Roomba 7 Plus is the latest version of the popular robot vacuum cleaner. So it's the Roomba 7 Plus. I think, uh, Coop, you've got the Roomba minus 6 Plus. Yeah, I don't think that I, one avoids you've, dog poop. You've got, the, you've got one from 12 years ago. But I guess this has been a problem. I mean, problems that you never even thought of, of these... <laughs> These digital vacuum robots just driving through a pile of dog poop in your house and just smearing it <laughs> and dragging it oh. all, all, all down your, you know, your hallway. Just to, you know, you, you get this, home from a long you, day of work. <laughs> Big circles. You know, you, you know, you're expecting the robot to clean the place, and the robot just smears dog poop all the over your house. Floor looks like a Jackson Pollock. <laughs> exactly. So. The new Roomba 7 Plus, it's Ugh. the latest version, and they claim that it will actually identify pet droppings and avoid the pet droppings. With a sense of smell? Boopy identified. How does it, how does it <laughs> yeah. beep, 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 Wait, is that duty? <laughs> duty identified. <laughs> You've been i duty <laughs> Oh. Reverse, reverse, <laughs> reverse. Too much duty. <laughs> I mean, how does that even work? Well, I don't understand. It uses artificial intelligence. No, Roxanne, I don't think it's got sniffers. <laughs> duty <don't>... detection. <laughs> I, I don't think <laughs> it has some sort of well, duty detection. How, how would it know the difference between duty and just a pile of I, something it could run over? Do you know how much this thing costs? Oh, how I can't much? even imagine. A thousand bucks. You're close. $849. All right, for $849, this thing ought to uh, identify yeah. a pile of dog poop in yeah. your house and not drive through it and smear it and drag it all over the house. New identification. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my uh, God. I mean, I had no idea. If this, you need that thing, is, you need to train your dog. What? We got a call from Ryan in Tampa. Y he yeah. had a dog poop Roomba incident. <laughs> oh, oh, no. What are the odds? Hey, uh, <laughs> hey Ryan, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, what happened? So, <laughs> yeah, we had a, a dog had an accident. We have three dogs in the house. We're actually living with my parents right now temporarily. But right. the uh, dog had an accident. Two of our Roombas driving through the house, and they went right through the pile, man. Uh, <laughs> didn't stop. So this sensor technology you're talking about sounds absolutely great. 
<laughs> drove right through the pile. We lost nine hundred dollars worth of Roombas in a single incident. <laughs> oh my! Oh, they God. ruined right. the Roombas. Of course. Too much duty. Yeah. yeah. Shutting down. <laughs> it was really bad. <laughs> All right, well, you got to go out and get the new 7 Plus Roomba because that has dog dude detection, all right?